What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great, great pre-Thanksgiving, and be careful out on the road, because I'm out on the road, and I'm not trying to get killed. Um, be safe. Take your time. Get there alive. Getting there a few minutes early and risking others, it just ain't worth it. And I know I sound like an old dude because I'm an old dude. All right, so it's kind of crazy because it was just four days ago. We were watching the Dallas, well, actually, we only watched three, uh, excuse me, two and a half quarters of the Cowboys kicking the Minnesota Vikings' ass. And that was incredible. I wanted to see every single play, but <laughs> they wanted to take it away from us Cowboys. But it's all good. It's all good. We have another one of those weekly honors for one of our players. We have Tony, you call it, I haul it, being Offensive Player of the Week, which is not surprising. He has been beasting out. I mean, just beasting. Uh... And being, you know, where, where people are saying, Ziku, Ziku. And believe me, I'm not trying to steal his thunder. I just want to make sure that come playoff time, he can play like that too. And sharing some of those, those reps, you know, with Zeke is the way to go. Here's the thing. I don't know. I don't know. I could be wrong. Because some people say, man, you know, you need to get him 30 carries a game. No, dog. No, you're going to wear him out. You know, in the same way we saw Fletcher Cox out there sucking wind for the Eagles, there's a certain number of plays that are optimal, okay? You have too many. You're not as effective, you know, after you go over a certain amount. Your body is tired. You're fatigued. And you're putting more wear and tear on the body. And so he had 15 runs and I don't know how many uh, pass plays that he ended up having. But, you know, getting him about 20 touches, I don't think you want him to have more than that. And him, he has just been a beast. He is better um, than, than, you know, as far as overall running back. The last five weeks or so, he's been better than anybody else out there. And I'll take that even with Barkley. I know Giant fans will disagree with me and say I'm crazy because, you know, they're, they're always – they're always so sensitive when you compare, you know, one of our players to one of their great players and stuff. They get all butthurt, you know, just like when we say Micah Parsons and LT, um, you know, in the same sentence. <gasps> How dare you? How dare you? Bad Dog literally lost his damn mind. In fact, you know what? I, I think I'll do a video about Micah Parsons and LT again. Um, just to kind of, since we got Cowboys, Giants tomorrow, just to kind of, you know, mess with them a little bit because we know how they are they, they'll get butt hurt and tell me you're crazy he's nothing like lt actually you might be right i think he might even be possibly better but be that as it may we're not talking about micah right now um but i, I i'm gonna trigger giant fans i am going to trigger giant fans later because that's what we do here all right, good people, I am going to pick up the big sub originally, and, and I hadn't done, didn't last year. I didn't do a big sub last year. In fact, I usually don't even cook chicken wings on Thanksgiving. You know, I figure you got turkey wings, which you need that, you know, chicken wings for. But the Cowboys have not been winning on Thanksgiving. So we got the big sub, and I, at first I was just going to go ahead and take the big sub. And I said, we'll just put the big sub down here. And, you know, we're going to have all the other stuff up there for Thanksgiving. So what do we need the big sub for? And that's when my wife was like, hold up. You know, you know, those leftover sandwiches are pretty good. I said, in fact, you can do that leftover sandwich for Thanksgiving dinner. You know, we'll put some of the ham some of the turkey, some of the sweet potatoes, the cranberry sauce, um, some of the uh, gravy. Ooh, pour, oh, have extra gravy. We'll pour gravy over to, oh my God. Mm. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. 
that sounds like a winner winner chicken dinner so that's what we gonna do all right good people hope you're having a great day and um, we'll probably be doing a live stream later tonight to make up for our saturday stream although we could just do our saturday stream on saturday we could do both maybe we do both but um i'm gonna be doing some of the prepping for uh my thanksgiving meal what i do is like the sweet potatoes i cook ahead sweet potatoes the baked beans and stuff like that i'll get all that stuff done so all i have to do is warm that up tomorrow um and save time so that way i get up get the turkey in and the, you know do the stuffing and the turkey and get those in there and let that cook then i can get the ham warmed up you know because they're pre-cooked pretty much anyway but get my glaze on it and um then boil my potatoes tomorrow to go ahead and make the mashed potatoes so i'll get some of the stuff prepped today and all i gotta do is warm it up tomorrow and that's all i got to say about that all right and um Hope y'all have a great day. Peace.